Hey, how's it going? Rob here. This is the new 2021 Focus Jam Squared 29er, fresh off the production line, looking fresh with these all new colors. And this is just a first look. I'm going to do a full review of the bike. Uh, so subscribe if you want to see that, that'll come out really soon. Let's have a look around the bike. Like I said, just a quick look. I will do a proper review. I've got this bike for a little while, so I want to get loads of riding in around all the trails that I know. Uh, but we'll have a quick look around because there's a couple of spec updates, a couple of neat changes as well from the one that I rode last year or the model year 20 version. So 2021, fresh new paint. This like pistachio green colorway is super popular at the moment. So let's start at the front. Fox 36 rhythm fork, 150 mil travel. These are the uh, OEM forks, you can't buy these aftermarket. They've got the grip damper in, not the grip two, standard grip one damper. But they're really good, nice and stiff. Good to see Fox 36 on this bike. Schwalbe Magic Mary tires, front and rear, which are brilliant. Such good performers, fantastic tires. And on DT Swiss, H1900 rims, which are the hybrid rims, so you get really good quality DT rims, really good hubs. Massive fan of the DT rims. Little Focus Mudguard, I think that's just a demo one on their demo bikes. And yeah, this like pistachio green colour. I don't know what Focus call it, I doubt they call it that, but it looks really nice. Looks really modern, it's just a standard flat colour profile looks really uh i don't know just clean clean and modern i'd say moving up to the bars now this has got a full xt drivetrain xt brakes and the xt kit the xt 12 speed is fantastic it is so smooth at shifting i love the little shifters i love the little multi-way shifts that you can do so if you're not used Shimano XT before, you've got standard um, upshift there. And then you've got downshift here, or shift to a harder gear, whichever way you want to say it. And you can do it either with your index finger or your thumb. And you can actually downshift two gears at once, which is really neat. It's the most ergonomic shifter out of anything. And the shifting performance on this 12 speed is brilliant. So it's got full XT drivetrain and brakes on the 2021. Now this is well neat. Check out what they've done with this integration of all the cables. You know, e-bikes can get really busy with cables, can't they? But they've got this new kind of integrated stem, which is super neat. Look at that. All the cables just go straight in there. And it's really neat. Considering there's quite a few cables coming out of here, they've done a fantastic job with that integration. They've thought a lot about that and had that designed. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is uh, unique to Focus. I've never seen anything like that before. Race face 35 bars. And if I just move around this side, you'll see loads of companies this year sticking with the Bosch Purion display. It does look dated, but it is more ergonomic. It is easier to use than the Kiox. It's easier to see. I wish Bosch did a, dis a no display option, a tiny, tiny little discrete controller. And I wish you could get rid of this. It's, in my opinion, so ugly, but it's on so many bikes, even like top end bikes like this but manufacturers don't really have much choice. It's either this or the Kiox. And Bosch are kind of pushing, uh, you know, connectivity and screens and all that kind of stuff. Even their new stuff is pretty cool. You can get mapping and all that kind of stuff, but not everyone wants that. I hope one day we can get rid of this monolith from the handlebars. It's not just focus, all Bosch bikes are forced to use either that or the Kiox. I prefer this for ergonomic use when you're riding. This just feels easier to change. The other one with a little triangle is not cool. But 
let's go back to that stem integration because that's well neat. Yeah, very impressive, good stuff. Just moving down the frame, you can see, I think this is the cable entry port for some of the other bikes. They've just put a blanking plate on there. Charging port. Maybe susceptible to water, don't know. Right on the top there. I've not read of any issues of water ingress on there, but right on the top. It is super easy to charge, to be fair. It's, it's right on the top, so you can't miss it. You don't have to bend down underneath the bike or anything. Nice, nice, just nice block graphics. Looks neat, looks really modern. On the back, Fox Float DPS Shock. 150 rear travel. Um, I'll just come back round here and the battery, the 625 watt hour battery is just integrated inside the down tube. There's a lock just there, the key lock. I won't show you, it's obvious, it just pops off, battery can pop out. Just a neat integration. Focus do make some really stunning looking bikes, don't they? Bosch Gen 4 motor. There we go, just under there. And I really like the Bosch Gen 4 motor. It's a superb performer, loads of power, 85 Newton meters now. Just is a, is a great motor. Still, that Bosch motor is noisy. And I forget to mention it on all of the bikes I feature, but it is a phenomenon of the Bosch motor. You can hear a bit of kind of noise on rough terrain on all the bikes, every single Bosch bike, the Gen 4 motor has that rattling sound on just steep, rocky terrain. You can hear it clattering about. Cranks, 165 mil cranks. I've just got my own Crank Brothers pedals on there. And uh, pretty short chain stay for an e-bike with 29 inch wheels, XT rear cassette and Shimano XT rear derailleur. It is interesting, we're seeing more and more bikes this year come with XT kit or Shimano kit, should I say, Shimano 12 speed. Oh, look at that. It's a stunner, isn't it? Yes. What a sweet looking bike. Yeah, so we're seeing a lot more bikes come with Shimano level kit. Shimano 12 speed, which is really cool. The performance on it's fantastic. It's not quite as light as X01. So if you look at, I guess, the equivalent in the SRAM range, the X01 is a bit lighter, but and most of my bikes are equipped with SRAM. I think I prefer the Shimano kit, the Shimano 12 speed kit. It shifts beautifully. Okay, rear wheel, Magic Mary rear tire, and the DT Swiss H1900 on the rear, 29er. Fast, pretty fast rolling bike. Uh, I haven't used Magic Mary front and rear in this compound for some time. So I'm guessing they add some weight to the bike. And the weight, this is around 24 and a bit kilos. When I do the full review, I do all the weight, all the geometry, all of that stuff. This is just kind of box fresh, really. Just want to show you this on the bar as well. All of this is mounted together. So the bar, Puri on display, and the KS dropper, it's all integrated into one single mount. Now, what that does mean is I found it a little bit tricky just to get it all in the same, all in the right position because it's all on one mount and you've got limited adjustments on there. I might get used to it. I have to let you know, but, but it looks well neat, doesn't it? Just having one attachment, one clamp on the handlebar. And same with the other side, it's XT, so you've got their new um, XT mount. I, I think it's called the EV, I think, the XT. The new kind of single mount. Great job. KS dropper post. 
pretty sure it's a 150, even on an XL bike. Bosch Gen 4 motor. It's kind of exposed at the bottom, but it does have a little bit of plastic. But the front kind of heat sink and fins are exposed, which means the cooling should be pretty good. Might get a couple of scrapes and stuff on there, but I actually took the bash guard off my bike that has a Bosch Gen 4 motor. And when I met up with Bosch, they mentioned that it might actually help the cooling. Uh, rear linkage. And rear swing arm, chain stay, seat stay, little exit point there for the brakes. All internally mounted XT calipers and XT uh, discs, rotors. And you've got a little flip chip here so you can change the geometry. So you can change it from a low position to a high position. So I'm pretty certain you could put a 27 inch wheel in the back, change the flip chip around to maintain the same kind of bottom bracket height. That'd be good to experiment with if you had this bike. So there you go. Oh man, it looks so nice, this colour. I'm particularly fond of this colour. And Focus do make some beautiful looking bikes. So there we go, just a super quick look around the bike. Like I said, full review coming soon on all my local trails. This is a trail orientated bike, so right up my street this is. It's available very much immediately, pretty sure from today, actually. You'll be able to check them out on the Focus website. Order, all the 2021 bikes are coming out now. It's so cool, isn't it? It's really exciting this time of year when all the fresh kind of stuff comes out. And from what I'm seeing with this bike, it's all about like evolution making everything slightly better, like that integration at the front, just looks a little bit tidier, it just feels a little bit tighter. Drivetrain is super sweet, runs really, really well. Uh, Fox 36, nice stiff fork up the front. Um, yeah, and it looks like a beauty, doesn't it? Bosch Gen 4, 85 newton meter update, so just a super punchy motor, great performer. So I am gonna ride this as much as I can and bring out a full review soon, so subscribe. And if you've got any questions or anything you want to know about the bike, pop it down below and I will catch up with you all soon. Take care.